and uh, next is the type of a black box testing so white box testing is basically playing around the internal logic okay if uh, and black box testing if we come to know about the black box testing is first is our like functional testing is there so mainly if requirement is coming for you you will be having a requirement and you have and there will be a functionality will be developed around that suppose there is a you uh, know registration page is there and requirement is come to develop a registration but uh, registration page so in that case there will be multiple fields will be their name username password address uh, country drop down and main multiple things will be there and it will be getting developed based on that so now you have to check either that particular text box for your name is working proper or not proper means you say it should be along only the alphabets in the text field it should not allow the digit there in the name in that way address is there it should allow all the characters in that if there is a mobile numbers so it should only allow the digits not the alphabets in that there so that if we are testing that kind of uh, not if you are doing that kind of testing so that we call it as a functional testing right so because we are testing the functionality for that particular field or a locator or a element and after doing individual web element testing and we are performing the complete scenario till the registration button and performing it is perform uh, no doing the proper submit or not so in that case we are doing the complete functional testing in that okay so this is about the functionality M means we want to check the function of that particular element or a locator that it is working proper or not it should not give the wrong result to us okay so this is a type of a black box testing that is based on the specification of the software that is to be tested right so the application is tested by providing the input we will give some input and uh, once the we were giving the input it will give me some output and then we will be matching that the expected output is matching with our input or with the actual actual input or not if there is a difference it means a bug and if both are fine both are good so it means it is working fine for us so and now there are different type of a functional testing will be there so like when you will be performing that so like i was saying testing are there but it can be happen on a different level so like in the white box also you can do that testing right at the unit level so functionality you are checking developer also can check that once he is developing the requirements so at that time he can also check that functionality that is working or not so it means he is also doing that kind of a functionality testing only so that's why we uh, we are included in the unit testing as well so unit testing is there so this type of testing is performed by the developers before the setup is handed over to the testing team to formally execute the test cases because testers is having a list of scenarios positive and negative scenarios but developers will not execute all the scenarios he just only do one or two positive scenarios based on the development and further if that is getting passed in the unit testing he will further pass to the testers so that we can do the exploratory testing we can know uh, uh, do the multiple test cases and execute there so unit testing is performed by the respective developers on the individual unit of source code that is getting assigned to him and he will test it now if we come about the integration testing so integration is, is defined as a type of testing where software modules are internally logically and tested as a group so integration is to say like suppose one small functionality has been developed in your page that small functionality is now combined with the complete web page so it does not mean that just you have to do that particular small functionality only you have to test you also have to test the complete page testing because you should know that it is working fine or not with the combining of the multiple functionality in your web page or not so if you are doing that kind of a thing in your module so you will be achieving as a integration testing for you in your application so the purpose of this level of testing is to expose the defect 
in the interaction between these software modules when they are getting the integrate right because small small functionality only developer will develop and that will be getting combined with the other already developed functionality and we want to see it should not impact any such functionality which is already developed so in that case if we find any bug so we will raise it and we can early catch it otherwise it can go in the failure also and if we are doing that kind of testing is known as a integration testing after that it will come as a system testing system testing suppose uh, in your company in your project you are work working on a uh, website that is a e-commerce project and it is having some multiple modules because every project will be getting divided into the multiple modules and maybe multiple teams are working also on the multiple modules so uh, in the e-commerce website one is having the product module like what uh, what are the different products are there and what is the value is there so oh, they are handling the particular uh, product page where we display our page one is having the checkout page so once uh, uh, no uh, product is added into the cart so we have to show the checkout option and different uh, discount offers and all things there in the checkout page so one team is handling that particular page one is having the payment one is having the confirmation page right so all the different teams are working on that particular module and they are developing the requirement functionality as it is coming in that particular module and they have developed it but now we have to combine all the four modules and we have to see all the functionality whatever has been developed it should be working fine throughout the flow right because whatever the value we have displayed in the product uh, product module for a particular product the same value should be go in the different module at the time of a payment also the same value should be display in the confirmation also right so if we are doing that kind of a testing so in that case we call it as a end to end testing that our system is working fine as a wall it is not breaking it it should not be like that the value we are displaying as a 100 in the product page for the value but uh, at the time of a checkout the value is only displaying as a 50 only for us right it should not be like that so the same value should be through the whole process and it should be working so if we do that kind of a testing we call it as a system testing as a whole, whole function system and in the last there will be the acceptance testing developer has developed developer has done the unit testing tester has does the integration testing he has also done the system testing but who will be giving the sign off for you that this functionality now will go in the production now only the client for which we are developing it for which we are doing the testing client will give the client uh, that sign off for you that now that we are good with your testing with your functionality whatever we have said definitely we have developed that kind of a same uh, requirement now we are giving a sign off to you so for that what we do generally what happens the testers will give the demo to the client that this is the functionality that we have developed for this particular requirement and this is how it is working and if you are good if you feel okay with the uh, functionality and then uh, they will give the sign off for us and if sign off is there for that particular requirement so it means this product is well and good this requirement is good and it can go now in the production for us and we will get we will close that particular requirement after it okay so in the last we will do the acceptance testing to obtain the customer sign off so that software can be delivered and in that we can include some alpha beta and gamma testing definitely you will see the uh, in the software like uh, you will see the beta version is there alpha version is there so these are some different type of version definitely you will see in the product okay any doubt in the functional testing no Rahul. okay thanks now we'll see about the non-functional testing so fun we have talked about the functional testing let's see about the non-functional so we have seen like functionally this requirement is working fine but 
there are some multiple factors also with respect to the end user end user what will be uh, no we looking for he will be looking for a good responsive website right good ui design so he needs a no like non functional testing as well in that case system is performing as per the requirement that is good but it should be performing fast also for you so in that case we need a non functional requirement because that in that case we are not checking the functionality functionality is working fine but we are checking the performance of the system performance of the website right so in that case we call it as a non functional testing so in simple words how well the system is performing is non functional testing and in non functional testing refers to the various aspects of the software such as a performance load stress so i mean these are some different words that we can use in our function like suppose hundreds of users or thousands of users is coming at a single time because multiple occasions are there if you see in the flip card they put a one big billion sale or something so at that time on a day uh, million of uh, customers come into the website so at that time it should not hang so for that definitely they do the load and stress testing at that time right so in that case we are not testing the functionality but still we are testing the performance so all this performance load stress this all type of a testing is known as a non functional testing rahul what's the difference between load and stress testing load testing is basically i uh, you know you will be doing only uh, less connection in that suppose you are you will be sending only 10 100 or 150 uh, at a time but in the stress testing we will see how how much maximum stress our uh, you know system can take we will put the maximum stress in that like uh, we will be putting millions of a request at the same time because uh, website is hosting on the server and server is having a some configuration that it is having that much kind of a ram it is having that much kind of a cpu it is having that much kind of a storage so if we are doing stress testing we will see how much our system can take a load okay 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 so stress is different load is different load is like small package and stress maximum how much stress it is there yeah got it right yeah. so if we are doing that kind of a thing we are achieving the non functionality i am i have given a live example right so in a flip card if big billion sale before doing that definitely we will be doing the stress testing because we want to see how much stress our system can load i mean can take it right and load testing yeah. we are just using uh, in the normal ways like uh, we will be send 100 connection that yeah it is working fine with this particular load but stress is the maximum load it can take particular system yeah Okay. And multiple companies even do e-commerce website definitely do the stress testing as well. I know that because mm. we have to in the occasions Diwali and Christmas. So definitely at that time, hey, heavy load is coming. Yes, that. yes. So at that time, we need a stress testing that our system should be much capable of handling that much particular load. So at that time, we have to use the stress testing in that. Yeah. Right. Okay. so the main focus is to basically improve the user experience how our system is responding fast for a particular request so if that we are doing it called as a non functional testing so whatever type of a testing i am talking about functional or a non functional same type of testing i mean we can achieve with the help of a automation okay because manually you can't send hundreds or uh, millions of a uh, connection at the same time it is very difficult to open so many tabs or sending the request so definitely tools will help in that to doing such kind of activities for you okay 